Well, hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, okay, apparently we're activating this first. While well, I explain this, in the last episode, we fought Meta Knight after. Actually, no, that's pretty much all we did. That that kind of took a while, and I went back to fight him again because I did not get the patch the first time around. Oh, I get what it's doing. Okay, neat. And in this episode. We're going to go to the two bonus levels, Moon Base and Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark. What will it actually be named? Only time will tell. Like, later on. Oh, neat. The Moon Base. With fire. Of course. I guess they gotta have some way to keep people warm. Even though everyone is yarn. I'm pretty sure yarn. Oh man, we're back to the moon jumping. Whoosh. I want those beads that aren't... That are probably not. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, the tank. I thought it was the rocket. Dang. Okay, yep, this has the motion controls. Oh. Did I mention that this thing can jump? Because if I did, I think the reason was I didn't realize it could. Could it in the last time? I don't know if it could. I wouldn't be surprised if it couldn't. Hmm. Oh, come on. Ah! Oh, gosh. Oh, that was close. That was very close. So still keeping up the pattern of one bonus level has a different upgrade thing in each one. And I think... Oh, Cosmic Bin, this transport's trash to a different dimension. The future is a great place. I believe the only one that has not been used in a bonus level is the rocket one. And I would not be surprised if that was used in Dreamland, which I believe is the final world's name. Ow. I don't really mind saying it. And honestly, I think that's the name. I'm pretty sure. I, once again, did spoil that for myself. Oh, those are bombs. Those are crash bombers. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, get the beat. Oh, wow, I actually got it. By the way, I mentioned before that uh, I thought that I was getting close to finishing up the shop. Like, getting everything. Hey! Just like the thing wants in the halberd. Ow. From Kirby Superstar. Neato. Uh... I went back, and I'm missing three things. Oh, speaking of which, um, after beating, uh, King Day Today and Meta Knight, I believe you unlock, uh, little plushies, I guess, of each respective character. They did not show up for me until after I fought each of them, like, their respective selves. So I'm assuming that that unlocks them somehow. I could be entirely wrong, but I'm assuming that's how it works. Just because they did not show up for me. Porthole, this window shows you what it looks like outside in the future. Oh, something has gone horribly wrong with the, that voice. Not sure what it is, but something went horribly wrong somewhere along the line. Whoop. Man, I have not gotten many beads. See, this is kind of what makes me think that each bead. Oh gosh, each bead. That each number to get each medal is different in each level because sometimes I get it crazy fast and sometimes it takes me until just now to get it. After I've already gotten two of the three collectibles, I'm assuming there's still three. I, I don't even bother to look anymore. The only thing I look at before before going into the level is a little icon. Sometimes I try to not even do that. Speaking of the three collectibles that may or may not actually still be three. I found the third one, so it looks like I was right. Yeah, tank bot. This classic tune was in Kirby's Dreamland. Now it plays when Kirby's a tank bot. Awesome. Best song in the dang game. You know it's true. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. King Day Day. King Day Day's theme. That's a pretty dang good one. That's pretty much my favorite song in every Kirby game. With I don't believe any exceptions. I can't think of an exception. Well, there's some pretty good tunes in Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, and uh, Kirby's Squeak Squad. Because those all kind of share a soundtrack in the end. Oh gosh, they take you out. I would like those beads, but it looks like I might- My goodness! Maybe I just haven't collected that many beads, because I lost- I pretty much lost the medal there. Like, I did lose the medal, I mean. I don't know why I said that pretty much. But I got all these things, so that's plus. <clears throat> I haven't had to time it right in a while. I don't know if I got it. Oh, man, I got it. Did I get it? Yes, I got gold. Woo, shooting star. 
I believe what theme you get there all depends on what medal you've gotten. I believe. That seems to be how it is so far. Sweet. That was a pretty productive level. Got the probably the second best song in the game. Overall, the music in this game seems very laid back. Though, I would, this music is pretty much the only I can clearly hear. Pretty dang funky, but still very laid back. And there's a hula hoop person over there. Makes perfect sense, makes perfect sense. Yay, it's raining! Aw. Oh, heh, I get it. I mean, it's not that hard to get, but, you know, I've missed some very obvious things before. I and mean, seriously, their last name is Wool. I didn't get that until just now. I've had that, I've had this game since around launch, to give you an idea. And I played it as soon as I got it. Oh, and Rocket, yep. It was either gonna be in here or in Dreamland. Wee! The slowest power up. Oh gosh. Hopefully, either the level design or my commentary can save it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is a bad power up by any means. I find it pretty fun. It's just very slow because it is side scrolling. In case you couldn't tell, I'm not controlling where the screen goes. The screen is indeed scrolling by itself. Oh gosh, that was close. This is pretty much, I'm pretty sure, a reference to Kirby Superstar. No, actually, um, nah, I'll save that for a better time to talk about that. Oh gosh, okay, that was unexpected. I gotta say, I'm very, they have really played up the whole yarn feel. Saturn sand, the rings around the planet on the stand glow only at night. Woo! Cause, wait, why would they glow only at night? I mean, in space, it's pretty much, you could say it's night all the time. Hmm. Strange. Strange things. Unless it detects the sun for some strange reason. And I'm assuming those are going to be enemies! Yeah! Thank you, all you ghouls, you. Woo! Oh, how the heck did I dodge that? Those, I can see how I dodged them, but that last one, I have no idea how that worked. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Ah, uh, no collectible for that one? Really? Seemed like the perfect place to have a collectible. And got some more beads. That's always good, 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 good. Okay, that's not so much. And got it. Sweet. Oh, gosh. And ouch. And more of these guys. Wow. Ridiculous. Oh, gosh. So many beads have been lost today. This is in memory. Oh. Saturn Donuts, these mysterious donuts sure smell like they're out of this world. Oh man, I love donuts. If only those were real. Oh gosh, more meteor asters falling star rights. Voids. Oh gosh. And all that's left is the CD, assuming they, again, didn't just change it for this final bonus level. Well, not final bonus level. Oh sweet. Oh gosh. What is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Okay, that's pretty dang cool. Wasn't expecting this. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm pretty content now. Oh gosh, that's not good. So this is definitely giving off more of a, uh, I believe it's called Mecha Cracko? From, I believe, just Kirby Squeak Squad, but it might have been in Nightmare in Dreamland as well. Or not Nightmare in Dreamland, The Amazing Mirror. Oh gosh, not sure. Haven't gotten too terribly far in that game. Actually, I feel like Krakow's the only boss that's not an alternate form in that game. I'm pretty sure he is, actually, yeah. So this is definitely giving up more of a Mecha Krakow vibe. Except made out of cotton candy. Come on. Get, clo get close to the eye for maximum damage. Shoot it. Shoot when you see the greens of their eyes. Oh, gosh. All that static electricity was worrying until nothing happened. And... Come on, come on. Yeah! We broke Krako! Outer Rings! This new music plays in Outer Rings. Sweet. Gotta say, that was definitely a fun level. And, uh... <laughs> I honestly probably could have continued last episode. That was short. Yay! 
So, against my better judgment, and you might see why eventually, don't worry, I haven't spoiled, I've spoiled one thing that happens in, uh, uh, Dreamland, but nothing more than that, but there is a reason why I'm go doing this against my better judgment, but I'm kind of liking the closer 20 minute episodes, so I think I'm going to keep on going, but right over here, <laughs> We are now here. And in case I did not show it last episode when I was going back to Meta Knight, there is now that thing over there. There we go. Aha, Dreamland. <laughs> that is more entertaining than it should be. Okay, I guess I'm not taking the sock. So, let's just see actually how many levels are here. I'd like to see. Same number, seven. To Wispy's Forest. Woo! Still three... Oh my gosh, I think I just saw Wispy in there. Sweet. That would be pretty neat to have in my, in my crib. Can I just say that I've learned to really distrust my gut lately? I don't know if I mentioned it, but, uh... <laughs> last episode, I, uh... Whoa. Huh. Last episode. Earlier, I suppose it would be, um, I mentioned... Uh, what? Why not? Let's go. Nothing could go wrong. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I'm going to go ahead and come clean. This is a different recording session. Like, a really different recording session than earlier. Um, So, in the middle, I was in the middle of recording this level, which is a kind of remix, kind of just more, more of really just a reference to uh, the first level in Kirby's Dreamland, it looks like, which is really neat. It's really cool to see all this stuff redone in beautiful HD yarn graphics. I do not remember that creepy face being there last time I played. But you know, maybe I just remembered things wrong. Same with the uh, infinitely spawning Model Ds. Actually, that probably could have happened. But, uh, so, uh, <laughs> I'm having trouble explaining this, aren't I? Uh, I decided, you know, let's, let's just do this. And so I did this. Also, those bomb blocks actually work like bombs. And I just crushed that sle sleeping waddle be like a madman. Beautiful. Um, but... Oh, sweet. These kind of remind me more of Curry's Dream Land uh, 3 than they really should. Wispy Woods. Someone has carved the face of Wispy Woods on this large tree. But in the middle of recording this level... <laughs> I uh, actually stopped. I wasn't even interrupted or anything. I just kind of stopped. I really don't remember why. And the next time I tried to uh, record this game, my HD recording program stopped working. It just flat out started crashing and I could not get to continue working. Also, boss battle. Yeah. Oh, I won. Ow. Well, maybe not if... Oh. oh. No! No! I saw a gravity thing! Yeah. Whew. It's harder than Wispy Woods normally is. Also... Oh. Oh yeah, this is just a pathway. I thought I thought Wispy Woods was connected by like strings. Weird. But uh, it has been quite a while, literally months since I've recorded this game. So it's pretty much like I'm seeing this level all over again. And because of that, I might be a little bit rusty. I do apologize for that. I will try my best. Though I did recently record a full game like recently. So I guess I don't really have an excuse if my commentary isn't all that great now, do I? Ah, I have no one to blame but myself. I want these. I said I want these. I suppose these should probably remind me of Donkey Kong, but they don't. Around here. Around here is as far as I got. Also, adorable yarn grit. Oh, I feel kind of bad. I should have used a spear instead. It would have been over quickly. Woo! Woo, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully, like... I, I don't understand why all of this bad stuff is happening to Kirby's e epic yarn of all things. It's also one of the first Let's Plays that I recorded and then pushed back late to, to like a later date. I don't really know if I've actually done that with any other games, but maybe, th maybe this is just a sign that I shouldn't have done that. And I, I never should have just broken in in the middle of my Kirby's Dream Collection Let's Play Collection thing, I guess. And just started recording Kirby's Epic Yarn out of the blue, but eh. It seems to be working now, so. Also, I like I like this little whistly version 
that's that's pretty much all it is, is it's just normal green greens just with whistling like that's really all i hear that's different like to be completely honest fun fact this is one of the songs that's included in the uh kirby's dream collection uh song disc thingy also i'm pretty sure i missed a bonus back there but i don't think i can go back for it darn oh wait that simplifies things sweet bye grizzo oh gosh whoo close Woo! Oh. Even in a game where you can't die, Gordo still managed to be worrying. I would like those. Thank you very much. Woo! 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 It's so it's so surreal to be playing the, like recording this game again. It it's very strange. I was actually just playing this game a couple minutes ago, not even for game ready to record, just kind of playing it. And I guess that's kind of why I'm not as bad i guess as i would be otherwise and i'm not playing great i mean it's kind of hard to play bad at this game also i did not get this far last time that's a good sign probably also did i ever mention that i realized it yeah i think i did that those uh those guys up here like it's the rules i think that would count as their last name just the rules yeah Ooh, was he just like pulling out his eyelashes I still love... Oh, that was cool. I still just... It's all the little touches that make this game really good. That That's just what makes this game, really. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't really one of my favorite Kirby games to just flat out play. I do find it kind of boring. I mean, sure, there's games where you can just kind of blow through them, but most games, there's still the threat that you could die. This game, there's no threat. The closest thing to a threat is you could not get all of the collectibles. And that, more than anything, just kind of frustrates me when it happens. So, also, I'm pretty sure that um, the area that I missed there is a collectible. Ow. I got to that area the last time I tried to record this, but we see how well that went. My goodness! That, that, that's sad. That's very sad. Woo! Now, while I haven't really been... My gosh. I haven't been recording too terribly much, especially not in the way of Kirby. I've just been recording one game, which, I mean, I guess is normal to record. I, I don't really know where, where I'm going with that. But I have been editing a lot of videos. I don't really know where I was going with that either. I should probably... My gosh! I should probably... I should probably think this kind of stuff out more. But, eh, too late now. <laughs> too, too much work for me. Oh, okay, this is getting ridiculous. I should probably try and time this. <laughs> also, the wool, the wolves have gotten tired whenever I, I get all of the, uh, whenever I get all my uh, beads back to get back to the silver medal. They've just given up on coming back to congratulate me. They've gotten tired of it. Green Greens. This classic tune was in Kirby's Dreamland. Now you can hear it in Wispy's Forest. Oh yeah, that's the name of this level, Wispy's Forest. I'm assuming that I showed it. I mean, the first half of this video admittedly has been recorded for a good while. But, actually, I hope the end of the level is soon, because it is, at least in recording time, been going on for a little while now. I wasn't expecting this to take so long. <laughs> and just think, if I had just decided not to continue on with, a uh, with moving on to this world this episode, you would have gotten this episode a lot sooner. Wasn't the... Oh, oh, that, that's awesome. It's it's pretty much Twin Woods. That's awesome. But wasn't uh, wasn't the last thing I did Meta Knight? Isn't, isn't that the last thing I did? I think so. That sounds right. Probably. Woo! I mean, that... <laughs> that was something that I didn't... I'm glad that I didn't have to redo. I was thinking about just re-record... What the... This is the tank, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. I remember this part from Kirby's Dreamland. Oh yeah, this is like the best part. Also, we got the classic power-up music and a classic level. Sweet. There's a lot of references in general to the first Kirby's Dreamland, which I really like. That is really cool. <laughs> it's always my favorite enemies that I just enjoy killing. That isn't... Oh, now we're... No, that's a monkey. <laughs> Close enough to green to green greens close enough to wispy woods it's about as useful really Re oh gosh apparently i could not get over just that little tiny area 
Woo! Oh gosh, Grizzo Army. This is bringing back memories of Mega Man 2, actually, which I don't... I don't think I've shown any Mega Man games so far that aren't... Uh, that aren't Mega Man X. Which is kind of sad, but at the same time, this is my ninth Let's Play. Granted, what's really sad is how long it's taken for my ninth Let's Play to finish, compared to when I started it. Granted, it's been pretty depressing trying to get Let's Play 10 to work out well. The last couple Let's Plays just have not been going well for me, for very different reasons. But neither of them have gone super great. At least Banjo-Kazooie, all the recordings were done, and, like, the recordings were not a hassle. This, it was the recordings. Editing, editing was a hassle a couple times. There's like a cave level I remember where it had some audio mess ups. Eventually I just, I just did some post commentary, but ooh, there's no, gosh, I can't even find out. Now we get Wispy Woods. Sweet. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Bombard Wispy Woods with missiles. Yes. This is beautiful. This is, I've, I, actually, I've, if there's any one boss I wish I could just bombard with missiles, it probably wouldn't be Wispy. It'd probably be someone really difficult that would just be super easy with missiles, like, um, Kabula, maybe? Oh man, I missed the best one. Fooey. And I think I missed a decoration thing. Yeah, I got, I got the Green Greens music and, uh, Wispy Woods himself to live in my apartment. That would be wonderful. That is a crank. Woo! That, that was pretty good for having not recorded this game in a little while, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it went horribly. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I did not get the bowl of soup. But I did get the crank handle. Yay. I did it. Also, I didn't realize that that player one low battery thing was actually coming through on the recording. In between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and fix that because that probably bugged quite a few people. Also, speaking of bugging people, this watermelon bugs me and I'd like to figure out what's up with that, but I probably won't next episode. So, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this re final return to Kirby's return, Kir this Kirby's epic yarn thing. And next episode, I will be going where I just accidentally threw that. The, 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 no, Nifty. Oh, duh, that's Castle Lolo, isn't, isn't it? <laughs> duh. Tempest Towers. We'll be going to Tempest Towers next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.